channel. Installing a transfer switch in our home. Um, basically, we got a bunch of solar generators, we got a portable generator, and we want to be able to control some crucial circuits when our electric goes out. We want to keep our refrigerators and our freezers running. We want to keep our main refriger uh, refrigerator running that's in the kitchen and a couple other circuits that we deem uh, viable if we were to be in a power outage or in a long-term power outage situation. So basically we got the transfer switch mounted, got the wires run through. Looks kind of messy here, but it's going to be cleaned up. And basically what I'm going to do now is wire the four circuits that we've chosen and won't bore you with all the details, but we'll show you what we got after it's done. guys just as we was telling you earlier we got the transfer switch done okay we got it wired in we got our four circuits and as wiring as I was wiring I put tags on which breakers that uh, we're using for our four cru crucial circuits and we're going to give you a demonstration here and show you how this ACP 200 is going to power all of our crucial circuits if we have a power outage so we're going to simulate a power outage here in a minute. Now, also just want to let you know that I've seen a lot of videos where people are, you know, showing you how to run your AC uh, 200P, but I, I never see them hooked up full time to solar. That's another thing that we're doing. I have 800 watts of solar that are going to go up on the roof. I'm going to start working on that tomorrow. So this is going to have solar attached to it and be able to run our four circuits, hopefully, for the long run in the event of a, uh, a long-term power outage. But if not, if we do run low, we have gas generators. And haven't done this yet, but that's another project we're working on. We'll show that to you too. We're gonna to be hooking up a outlet on the outside. We got two breakers here, uh, two 30 amp breakers. This top one runs my water heater and I'm gonna pigtail those and bring them down to this one. Hook a generator up to this breaker with an interlock switch so you're safe. You do not want to backfeed the grid because you could hurt somebody, it's very dangerous. So you, when, you, when you're doing stuff like this, you wanna, you wanna do it right. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, get an electrician to help you out. But basically, that's what we're looking at. We don't wanna be caught, and just to give you a little Backstory here just maybe a month ago, a month and a half, I think it was. I went to install this transfer switch and I took the cover off my panel and we lost power in half the house. And come to find out, our main breaker was basically not fastened down to the box and it was just jumping. So, whenever the fur or excuse me, the air conditioner would kick on, we would lose power to half the panel. And it was a very, very bad situation. So we were without power for about three days. We did have our AC uh, 200P and um, we have an AC uh, 30 as well and a gas generator that got us through until I could rewire the panel and get us back up and running. So we don't wanna be caught in those situations where we're out with power. So that's what we're doing and we'll keep you updated all along the way. But what we're gonna do right now is we're going to simulate a power outage. We got our AC 200 on, okay? The AC is on, and all you do basically is plug into the AC outlet, and this is a hot end, plugs in right here. And basically on your uh, transfer switch, you have three positions. You've got generator off and line, and then there's our four breakers that are controlling our circuit. So we got our breakers on, but right now we're running on the grid. So get ready, it's about to go black. All right, what do we do? We're basically gonna switch everything up. See the light on our refrigerator? It's on. Or excuse me, that's our freezer. Let's take a walk through the house. What are we powering? We got lights right there. We got lights right there. 
we have lights there. Basically, we got our internet running off our AC 30. We have TV if we want to watch TV. Let's just turn it on. TV's working. So we can entertain ourselves, guys. Let's walk over to our main refrigerator here. It is working, okay? Everything's working. Look here, we want to cook something. We do have our microwave hooked up. Now your AC200P will do that. And if you have solar on the roof, you'll be able to do this for a long time. We're gonna be testing that out and showing you how long we can do that. So let's restore power. And here's the beauty of the transfer switch. We don't have to worry about switching any interlocks over or anything like that. Power comes back on. We're good to go. Didn't affect this. Let's see what kind of watts we're pulling. 288 watts right now. Now that will go up and down as our freezers and uh, refrigerators kick on and off. So that's where the solar is gonna come into play. And like I say, we will show you that and how that's gonna work. And basically I can let it run here, no problem. And it'll run for a long, long time. But basically if you wanted to give your generator a rest, you just flick everything back over. You can see the light on our freezer. And guess what? We're back on the grid. Simple as that, guys. You don't have to be without power. Stay tuned because we got a lot of good stuff coming.